My name is Peter Hansen and I'm the Global Business Director for MuslimFace.com. Uh, tell us a little bit about Muslim Face. Uh, when did it start and yeah. how quickly yeah. has it grown? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, Muslim Face is uh, a social network platform predominantly for Muslims. And uh, we soft launched in September last year and uh, within a month and a half we already had 300,000 users. The aim is to have about 10 million users uh, at the end of this year and in five years time around 220 million users, about 12% of the entire Muslim population in the world. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you're monetizing this and, um, and how soon you think you could break even on Muslim mm -hmm. Face. Okay. Um, the business model is based around digital advertising, of course. We want to tap into the two trillion uh, US dollar uh, halal industry uh, and get them uh, as advertisers, um, side by ad, uh, they will have their own uh, pages on uh, Muslim Face where they can advertise and promote uh, their goods and services and so on. And um, you need to cut here because I forgot the rest of the question. Oh, the, the break even yeah. uh, time frame. Ah, um, break even we think uh, will be towards the middle of the second year. Um, what was your rationale for setting up Muslim Face? Mm. What mm. was the niche in the market that you saw? Okay, we saw that there was or is a general discontent with the current social networks. Uh, Muslims are exposed sometimes to ridicule uh, and other things which is not entirely fair and so uh, that was basically why Muslim Face was born. I myself, uh, I'm not a Muslim, but I have worked with uh, Muslim businesses and uh, mu the Muslim community for more than 30 years. So, so I know what's going on, really. And so we saw that gap in the market and went, and went for it. Mm -hmm. uh, have you encountered any resistance uh, from any quarters? Not at all. Uh, and we are somewhat surprised that that's not the case, um, especially from Facebook, I suppose, uh, because we are uh, in a way going head on uh, with them. But uh, really, we are uh, predominantly for Muslims, so it's a slightly different platform. Uh, for example, uh, it includes prayer times, uh, it includes uh, also uh, you can track where you are uh, on, on your mobile app and for example uh, look up where there might be a halal food joint and, and other things. So uh, while we have competition we think actually uh, we also uh, differentiate. Um, have you also encountered any resistance from uh, dare I say it, more conservative elements within the Muslim community who perhaps say that uh, uh, this encourages types of behaviour that yeah. maybe some people don't approve yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. No, we haven't actually, but we uh, have been well aware from the outset that such things could occur. And so we have taken certain measures to uh, make sure that uh, we are not becoming a platform for any untaught uh, and undesirable activity. In fact, we make quite a big deal out of that. Let's talk a little bit about funding. Uh, yeah. So tell us uh, roughly how much you raised in seed capital to get things going mm -hmm. um, and uh, how easy was it to raise it? Where did it come from? And what are your funding needs now and uh, where you see that money coming from? Sure, okay. Uh, the first question is, is an easy one because we have funded uh, the uh, rollout, uh, the development of the platform and everything else up to date uh, by uh, own means. And uh, we are now looking for stage one funding around 1.2 million uh, US dollars. 
uh, and that's predominantly to make sure that we can increase our server capacity so we can also uh, handle uh, 10 million users initially. Uh, we also need to gain some more traction, spend some money on uh, PR, uh, media and so on. Uh, we might need another uh, 2 million in a year or so. We will see how fast, how fast we gain traction uh, and then we will take it from there. But that's something uh, we make investors aware of uh, up front so that they know uh, what they're up for. How easy is it to get money? Um, not particularly easy, I would say, uh, but we have a very good strategy and a very good business plan. So I think uh, we, are, we are very confident, in fact, that uh, we can reach our targets. You've uh, uh, raised capital for startups in many different parts of the world. Yes, I have. Um, how does uh, trying to raise money in this part of the world compare to uh, doing the same thing in more developed markets like Europe or okay. the US? Okay. The US is the easiest market because that's where it all started with venture capital, uh, uh, angel investors and so on. The European market is a bit more conservative, I would say. Uh, they have been a little bit reluctant in embracing it. And I'm actually quite surprised to see uh, what I have seen here today in Turkey, that uh, it is really being embraced uh, and encouraged. And that's, a very, that's very nice to see.